I'm Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to make these adorable bird feeders. They're made out of repurposed two liter pop bottles. They're fun and easy to make and a great summertime craft project to have with the kids or grandkids. Um, this is a fun project that you can do indoors or outdoors and be as creative as you want to with your paint and design choices. Let's take a look at how to create our very own bird feeders out of two liter pop bottles. First, let's take a look at the tools and supplies that you'll need to create your bird feeders. Of course, you'll need a clean and empty two liter pop bottle or plastic bottle, some outdoor paint, a paint tray is kind of helpful, paint brushes, a drill and a drill bit, a glue gun and glue sticks, make sure you have plenty of glue sticks, a pair of scissors, a skewer, and some rope. The first thing that you're going to do after you clean your uh, plastic bottle and make sure it's nice and dry is to remove the label and then we're going to cut it down to size. We're really going to remove the entire middle part of this bottle and not use that so the sticky label part that's left on there doesn't matter. So take your scissors and carefully poke a hole in the bottle near the top. Now the top of my bottle, I cut it down about five inches from the top. And if you're using a Diet Coke bottle like I am here, there's a groove right around the, the top where I'm cutting and I'm just cutting along that groove line. And there I have the bottle cut in two. Now I want the top to hang over the bottom just a little bit. So I'm really going to remove uh, more than just an inch or two. I want the bottom to only be about um, four inches tall after I cut off. So here's what it looks like. There's my bottom piece and my top piece and you can see how that sits over it and it kind of overhangs it a little bit and that'll help keep water out of the opening for the bird feeder. Then I'm going to take the cap and use a permanent marker. Here I'm using a pen, but trust me, the permanent marker is a lot easier to use. So use a permanent marker to draw a circle where you want to cut out the opening for the feeder. And then again, take the scissors and gently, carefully poke a hole where you're gonna cut out your opening. I like to poke it right in the middle. And then I make a few slashes and then cut out that circle. And you can make the circle as big as you want it to be, but that gives you a good starting point. And again, I found these little four inch uh, Fisker scissors works really well for this project. They have a nice sharp point and they're small enough to cut out these circles and um, handle the plastic of the bottles really well. So I'm just trimming up some of the edges and making my opening a little bit bigger. You'll also need to poke a hole just below that opening for the perch. And I do the same thing. I take the point of the scissors and I poke, a, poke into the bottle, kind of center just below where I want the perch to be. And then make the opening with it, just use my scissors large enough for the skewer or dowel rod that you're using. Or you could use a piece of a tree branch, a twig, whatever you want to use there. And then my uh, skewer is a little long, so I'm going to mark where I want it to be. And then I'm just going to use my scissors to kind of score the skewer. And once I have it scored, I can just snap it down to size really easily. And then it'll go into the bird hat feeder just like that. Okay, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to paint. So I like to use this Deco Art outdoor paint. It is perfect for plastic and it's great for using in outdoor projects. So I just squeeze out a little bit of paint in my paint tray and use a paintbrush 
to apply it to the exterior of the bottle only. So I'll paint the bottom of the bird feeder and I'll paint the top of the bird feeder using the paint colors of my choice and you will do the same. Now you can really have fun with these and decorate them any way that you want and you know get your kids or grandkids involved. This is a great project to do outdoors um, and really just use your imagination to come up with the designs that you want. So I apply one coat of paint and remember to keep your coats kind of thin. So just apply one coat of paint. Don't worry about streaks or anything like that. And then set it to dry. Once the first layer is dry, you can paint a second layer or even a third layer if that's what your project needs. Okay, so that is the bottom of my bird feeder. And then I will repeat the same thing with the top of the bird feeder, holding onto the top of it and then paint the entire top of that bird feeder. I'm not gonna paint the area where the cap goes onto the bottle, but I am gonna paint up to that point so that the little black or gray or whatever color that little ring is, um, is painted the same color as either my the top of my bird feeder or the cap. <clears throat> which when I made my bird feeders, I painted the caps the same color as my bird feeder top. So you can do whatever you'd like with yours. I'm using this really fun color from Deco Art. I'll provide a link to it below in the description. And then you just let those dry. Um, when you have the layers on that you want, you are ready to decorate uh, the pots even more. You can draw flowers, polka dots, stripes, um, whatever your imagination creativity will allow. And here I'm just painting the cap, which can be a little tricky. I use a little toothpick to kind of help me hold it down while I paint it. Okay, so I'll let those dry and when they're dry and I have all the coats on that I want, I will use more paint to decorate them. So this is one of my decorated pots and now I'm ready to attach the perch. I'm gonna put a big glob of hot glue inside the bottom where the perch will go inside and rest on the opposite side of the bottom of the bottle. I'll show you here. <clears throat> I just kinda of have to hold it in place there uh, until the glue dries a little bit and then I like to put some hot glue over top of the dowel rod or the skewer whatever you're using there you go so whatever you're using to hold that in place and then you take your hot glue and you apply it along near the edge of the top of the bottom piece of the bird feeder then you simply take the top and you slide it over top of the bottom and just kind of press it around to make sure that just to make sure that it's attached and adhered to the glue really well. And then you just take off the cap and use a funnel to fill the bottom of it with bird seed and then hang your bird feeder wherever you would like. And these are just a couple of the ones that I made. I hope you enjoyed this project. It really was fun and easy and a nice way to reuse, recycle, or repurpose plastic bottles. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you found this helpful, be sure to like it below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit me over on the Birch Cottage blog and subscribe to my newsletter. As a subscriber, you'll have access to the Subscribers Resource Library, and you'll be notified when new craft ideas are made available. Thank you.